next on the list here we have this random thing actually i just kind of spotted quickly here on the on the old reddit of course which i'm on flipping every single day but i think i've mentioned here a few times i think on this show that i'm not the biggest uh, Kreischer fan and this this is a sad thing too because i want to like the guy because i was a big fan of his before i still think he's probably weirdly enough one of the best interviewers in comedy when it comes to actually interviewing people that he actually likes and he's a fan of he asks some really great questions on his podcast like really really great questions or people that he's even just curious about people maybe people he doesn't know too well people he's like intrigued by he asks some really illuminating questions but when it comes to being on a podcast i feel like this kind of adult brat or sorry this adult jock no adult jock this adult frat boy thing he's got going on um brat jock whatever you want to call it right this adult um frat boy thing he's got going on it's just a bit corny a bit cringe a bit lame and a bit annoying but i also appreciate him being a stand-up comedian and a brand of comedy that he does he kind of has to continue acting in this kind of arrested development phase right he can't really grow up because his brand is about being a silly goose fucking around taking his top off and drinking beer beers so that's whatever it may be and over time because i've been dipping in and out of the burt cars and listening it from time to time i've kind of started to like him again and i realized why i like the guy but i think before i was only listening to his podcast quite often and you know his personality can be a draining as hell and you can only take him in small doses but one of the benefits one of the good things sorry about Bert Kreiser I think is that he legitimately seems like somebody that's got a massive heart like somebody who legitimately if someone told him like you could cure world hunger by giving a charity 10 million he'd give it do you know what I mean because he just wants everyone to be happy he wants everyone to have a good time he's a kind of the kind the person that you would always want to be left alone with at the bar or the person that you would b want to bump into in the toilets of, of a club somewhere he seems to be so so chill and for whatever reason him and tom segura one of his close friends in comedy as well who he does two bears one cave with they have this weird tradition what they have going on with their birthdays where they try and one-up each other in terms of birthday gifts and they're just trying to go above and beyond in terms of getting the perfect gift and it kind of made me smile because for someone like myself who isn't the most friendly I would say doesn't have the biggest friendship group and also doesn't necessarily care too much about his birthday in general at all to the point where i never ever celebrate it ever 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 and i get sometimes quite angry and people try and make me celebrate it it was quite nice to see this amount of effort and love and affection go into making someone else's day special like this is the so this is a video of Burt Kreischer basically giving Tom Segura his gift, which happens to be a souped up BMW that's been basically souped up to spec to be able to ride on a racetrack. And it's probably worth, I don't know, it, it has to be worth over 100 grand or something. It's an incredible car, right? And he's gone to all this effort to get him the car because obviously Tom Segura loves driving, you know, fast cars. It's just like, wow. It, it, from the video clip I'm going to play now, it brings Burt just as much joy to see tom happy in the car as it does tom being happy to have a car like that you know what i mean in his collection it's just insane so i'll play the clip for you now <laughs> this, this is your birthday present oh my god dude Look at this fucking thing, Tom. Um, it's like a BMW E65 or something. Exactly how we roll and then we it's God not damn. street legal. It goes so fucking fast. It's, it's moving. Yeah, it's a race car. I don't think it has a parking brake. I don't know what to say. This is so insane. You want to try to sit in it? This is how tight it is? It's a fucking race car. You want to be in there snug. Oh my God. I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> amazing <laughs> I fucking just drove by a cop I was like <laughs> happy birthday buddy <laughs> I love it it's unbelievable that was the fucking best how nice is that hey how nice is that like how happy but looks to be just giving him and again if you're not seeing the clip there's a picture of Bert here to basically embracing Tom and really chuffed that he's made him happy with this gift it's a fucking fantastic present and I was just wondering in general because you see a lot of people online especially these birthday week types right 
from what you see for the most part it's mostly an i thing it's mostly celebrate my birthday week like give me loads of attention give me loads of gift take me out i would never understood that if you're a birthday person would you want to have your closest and your dearest next to you celebrating all the week long it's kind of like similar to like a hen do or a stag do so you're going to be dragging and kicking and screaming to bars to restaurants to museums to fancy locations to shows to concerts to celebrate your day because that's what you want to do and they're obliged to do it because it's your birthday but make it sweet i don't know maybe offer to pick them up in a car maybe offer to buy the ticket for them to go it's never like that usually with people that have birthday it's always like you turn up to a restaurant that i picked that happens to be really expensive i remember that being a shift that i remember when i was younger there was a shift when when i was younger or when i was growing yeah when i was much younger actually there was a time and period where i did celebrate our birthdays for a bit and my mom and my parents did this really sick thing where they'd give me money and say hey here's some money and you go take out your friends to nando's and this was when nando's was first sort of launching it wasn't necessarily the biggest thing ever but it was a special thing right so it wasn't like now so you know people go to nando's every single day but back then if someone t- told you hey i'm gonna take you to nando's it was like oh it's like a treat so i would get some money 50 60 pound whatever it might be however much i could spend you know you know to get everyone a meal and basically get everyone a meal just put that money behind the bar and then here or put that money behind a till whatnot and get everyone to order what they want and it was always really gratifying oddly enough even though it's my birthday and no one's getting me a gift no one got me even a flipping card right it was still nice to have everyone around the table kind of out for you and you're kind of paying for their meal do you know what I mean it was just a nice feeling it really made you feel warm inside oddly enough um because you you know nowadays or western way of kind of celebrating birthdays is more about you receiving presents but I feel sometimes like if you especially if you've got the means to do so um going out above and beyond to make someone else happy just feels way nicer it really does I don't know what it, what it is about and again the bad thing about me I don't celebrate my own birthdays and I don't really give a shit about other people's birthdays either so it's not even like I'm like giving and i can kind of say yeah i can hide behind that i'm not giving and i don't receive well either which is a real pain i don't know what that is maybe it's because of a past trauma you know coming up as a kid i never really got the things i ever wanted so you kind of maybe trick your brain into believing you don't care about the birthdays so that you don't get hurt if you don't get the thing that you want maybe i don't know or maybe it's just genuinely there are people like me who exist who just don't give a flying f about birthdays i've never have if anything the closest thing that I really did with that was trying to be special was one one time I tried to throw a party for my for myself in Dawson ages ago and you know seven people turned up which was super embarrassing but it was just you know it was a party I tried to promote no one really cared and it was what it is but that was the last time I tried to put on an event for myself maybe that was the reason I don't know I don't know what that is I don't know let me know in the comments if you're the same do you really celebrate your birthday I don't know maybe because it's a thing you have to do under the age of 21 or something but I want to know if you're over the age of 25 let's say do you celebrate your birthday do you go out and do you go above and beyond is it something that you just wait for people to give you gifts for do you give people do you give people the opportunity to make no do you give your friends and your family an easy opt-in to attend your birthdays like do you pay for ubers do you promise to pay for ubers going or going back home do you supplement some of the meal do you put some money behind a bar to get drinks like let me know i want to know what people are doing out there because i don't know if i'm the freak or if it's just normal what i do in terms of never celebrating birthdays and at the most i might go to shop and buy myself a little tonic wine and cheers myself do you know what i mean like hey here's for another year you survived it's a bit grim it's a bit sad but you know that's what i usually do when it comes to celebrating my birthdays but you know maybe i'm in the minority there but who 